Welcome back, guys, to the series finale, where <laughs> the goal is to, to get all of our lines making money, but that's not happening. I can tell you that right now. But uh, what we can do is I've set up the uh, this line so that it's now dropping off over here at the Brussels train truck stop as well. Uh, which means that... I don't know why that's there. Uh, it's, it still exists. Um, uh, we needed to update uh, our two train stations here in Paris and Lyon to basically to be electrified so that we can replace this train, which we're going to do right now. Uh, it's going to be electric. It is going to be... Uh, Hector rail. Uh, we will let time pass again. Uh, one time. And it's going to have cargo on board, of course. It's going to have you. And it's going to have you. So it'll be 299 meters long. Let's replace. And we'll do it. Yes, it will. Fantastic. All right. So, this will mean that Paris now can get fuel once we put some vehicles on here. So, where can we buy some vehicles? That's a tram depot. That's a... Train depot. Uh, where can we buy road depot? Five vehicles. We need some tanks, tank trucks. We need three of them, and we'll put you on Paris fuel deliveries. I think I called it. Yep. And there we go. Okay, whoa, there came a Concorde. That was loud. Does it have passengers on board? It's too fast, I can't click it. Ha! Ah! Gotcha. 24 passengers on board. Beautiful. Alright, so... In between episodes, I did let, let the game run a little bit without... Um, time passing man a lot of new trains all the time do love them really really do uh, but I did let uh, time pass a bit so now we are at 1200 here 1200 there we're at 600 here going on 8 and over here we are at 400 going on 5 or 6 so that's all good that is all good. And if we look at consumers here, uh, Glasgow, uh, well, everything is going up on the amount of uh, fuel they want. So that is great. And soon, soon Paris will join. Except uh, one thing I didn't do, which I, I really, really should, uh, is this line. We will manage the line, and after Brussels, we want you to go to there, and then to Lyon. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we want. Good. And the Concorde. Uh, so now, consumers, Paris. Join in, please. And we're already up to, let's say, 200, almost 400. And here comes Paris, which will want some as well. So that is good. That is really, really good. Okay. And... 
We have 68 fuel sitting here, which is also good. There's the train, it's there. It has 139 on board. And it's actually making money now. Quite a lot of it. Uh, trains. Um, where is Berlin? Amsterdam fuel to Berlin. Uh, there. Three million. Nice. Uh, Barcelona tools to Bordeaux is getting there. It was losing two million. That is getting a lot better. And it just picked up a full load of food. So this is wonderful. This obviously is not making money right now. Uh, but it will. It will. I hope. That's the... That's the dream, that that will start making money as well. Uh, let's let time pass a bit faster. Yeah. Now, our passenger lines here are very, very full. But that's not our, our uh, focus right now. Germany Latvia Express is generally making money. Once in a while, it's not. Uh, but that is all good. Uh, this should start making money as well. So should this, because it'll be getting more uh, oil up here. We have quite a bit sitting here, uh, but we also have a lot of ships sitting here waiting to go in. So oh, you turn around and you turn around. Okay, you got a full load, good. Um, I think, what's, um, your rate is 422. So, we pin this. Your rate is 961, and your rate is 494. So I want these two to be on the same terminal, like so. So that the two with the lower rate go on the same side, because that means fewer ships should do anyway. Okay. Good, good, good. And how is Paris looking for food now? It's looking much better, and it will be getting fuel as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, if we look at our finances, um, we are making very good money. Um, I mean, a hundred and. 77 million, around 175, 180 million uh, a year we're making. Uh, the re reason it looks like this is, of course, that I had stopped time passing. But we are making very, very decent money. Very, very decent money. And we have a ton of money, four and a half billion. Yeah. Yeah, we we I, I'd say we we're, we're making money. <laughs> we're making money. Top speed 2158 kilometers an hour. That's obviously the um the Concorde. Mhm. Mm It's not all our tracks, but almost all our tracks that are electrified. Wow. 3,419,000 cargo transported. 237,000 passengers. 
I think we're doing pretty well. Now. Mm, this will make money again. It'll all make money again. Yeah. Riga fuel to Hamburg. Yeah, that makes sense as well. How are our planes doing? Well, three of the lines are making money. Three of five. Uh, the Concorde, uh, Istanbul to London, 13 million. That's a profitable line. That alone is covering those and then some. They don't, people don't really want to go to Lisbon or Prague for some reason. Which is unfortunate. Which is unfortunate. Alright. So, shipping. These will all make money. Trains. Hey, Barcelona Tools to Bordeaux is actually in the green for a little while um tram lines most of them are making some kind of money but not that much but that's not really what they're built for again so yeah don't forget that uh, tomorrow saturday the 16th we are jumping in. Is it Saturday the 16th or is it Saturday the 17th? I, just, I think it's Saturday the 16th. Uh, we are jumping in to uh, a new game of Transport Fever 2 on the uh, spring update uh, beta. So hopefully we'll start making a, uh, a lot of money there as well. It's going to be... I think I heard Skystorm talking about it, uh, an EPEC challenge or something it's called. Uh, I'd call it APEC, but uh, so all products to every city uh, is what I want to do. Uh, and of course, I want to make money doing it. And I think we're going to playing on the hardest difficulty. So we'll have a bit of a challenge there. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun uh, because the new update just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I can't wait to show it to you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, I think it's really going to be very, very cool. Very, very cool. Right, so, this, uh, that, but that makes sense that that's not making uh, money yet because we're not up to snuff on our deliveries here. How much did you get? 58, not a lot, but you're getting a lot. 103 already is sitting there. We've got new planes and trains. Okay. And we have 114 sitting here. Uh, 126. It's getting there. It's getting there. Very, very good. And how is Paris looking as a consumer now? 52. But yeah, we're getting there. Brussels and London are at 100. Amsterdam, 139. It's very, very good. Very, very good indeed. Um, let's see. Germany, Latvia, X plus. You are making money. It's not a lot, but you are making money. And we do have a lot of people sitting here wanting to go to Berlin. No one wants to go to Riga. For whatever reason. I guess it's because Riga isn't really getting any products at all. Um, let's take a look here. So actually really have a lot of passenger for the Amsterdam Women's Express. Everywhere. 
at least for one way. Not so much for the other way. Not so much for the other way. What trains do we have on this at the moment? Uh, oh, we have these. That's actually okay. I'm okay with that. Look at that. I'm making 14 million. I think what I will do is... I'll put an extra train on there. And then over here... The Barcelona Prague Express. Really has a lot of passengers sitting as well. Uh, a lot of passengers here. In Paris, we have a lot of passengers going to Frankfurt. In Bordeaux, we have a lot of passengers going. So I think, uh, what train do we have on this right now? That. Uh, is this electrified? It is. It is already an electric train. Yeah, it is. So we're going to replace these. Uh, I think with some multi multiple units because I think they look cool. Um, 105 passengers, 121 passengers. What's the uh, capacity now? 120. Okay. And, and the speed? Uh, what's your top speed, guy? Uh, you are a RE44. Uh, can we still get those? No. Unfortunately not, but... Can we see it here? Top speed 120. So if we replaced you with a multiple unit, like this one, it would have a little bit less capacity, but go more than twice as fast, more or less. And we could also do this and just put another train on here. I don't want to see some of these new trains. So I think we're going to... Why, why can't I replace? Oh, I, I need to add it. Makes sense. Well, this has a much higher capacity. Let's do this one. And replace. It'll go about the same speed. But... It'll have quite a lot more capacity. And we want to take a ride on it. If we can find one. Here's one. That's a nice looking train. It's a very nice looking train. Should we take a ride all the way down to Barcelona and back again? Um, I suppose we could. I suppose we could. Now, you know what? I'm, I'm going to wait a bit on that. But look at it. It looks very nice. Very nice indeed. I like it. it a lot. Okay. How are we doing on profitability? Uh, yeah, we know all of this. It's getting better though. It's getting better. Frankfurt buses really aren't doing a whole lot. I mean, the frequency is kind of okay, but... People just don't want to go on the bus. For some reason. 8 million lost on that one. Ouch. Hmm. 
Switch to Amsterdam and Berlin. It should be getting better. Um, down here we have a lot of machinery setting. We're picking up our planks. Goody good. And how many planks do we have sitting here? 50. We are producing at max speed, basically, so that's fine. That is absolutely fine. You're coming in with 220 more logs. We just picked up a full load of fuel, which is fantastic. Where's the next ship coming in with fuel? Oh, it's just landed here. I wonder how much brought in. Uh, you didn't get... Yeah, you got full load, and we have almost a full load sitting here. Uh, we're bringing in 135. Okay, we're, we're getting there. 56, not getting there. 146. 120. 81. All right. But you are about to level up again. And Paris is now in there with a consumer. 78 consumers. 78 demand. I'm sorry, in Brussels, London with big demands as well. So that's basically 400. 500. So. I guess six because it's actually producing it and that's good we're getting there guys we're getting there and these lines are very profitable i mean this line is doing 10 million that is a pretty good line to set up just to make money on another line this one actually became more profitable and this line is doing 2.2 million so yeah, I like that. I like that. And our fuel line. That's not our fuel line, is it? Nope, that's goods. Don't worry, you're bringing goods back. But never mind that. You are making a very decent profit. Six million. Good, good, good. And I actually think... So what's your capacity? 195. I think we're going to update you a bit. Um, replace. You have the series 1042 right now, which I don't think we can get anymore now. Yeah, series 1042. Uh, I think we'll go with the Hector Rail again. I like that. Or should we try something else? Go with the uh, let's go with the BR one eighty five, and we'll put capacity of two hundred on you. I think. Two forty. Thank you. And you actually got two hundred fourteen on board. What's your rate now? 448 before it was, well, it was less. Well, I think this is fine. This is fine. Do, 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 do. 56 you're bringing in. 146, you're bringing in 220 logs. We're just getting enough in that this can go up to pretty much max production, which is great. That is exactly what we want to see. Uh, how many do we have sitting here? 108, that's not a lot. That's actually not a lot. We want more. 
we're not get, we're not getting full loads. We are not getting full loads. But more than half full. And the line is making a profit. So that's good. Well, it's making less of a loss now than it was. But I don't think it's going to be making a big profit for us. Um, the beer and cargo distribution should be fine. And so should you. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We just need to get some of this fuel over here. And we actually do have some fuel sitting here. 42. And two goods. And we're picking up now. Yep. It's not a lot that we're picking up, but we are picking some up. And it should get better and better. And has, has Paris received any fuel yet? Yeah, some. A little bit, a little bit. Well, that's good. Bring food back. Why are we bringing food back? I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Um, over at uh, Dublin, how is our ferry doing here? Bring 17 people over that way. It has 204 people sitting here waiting. Um, what's, what's your rate? 165? I mean, we could... Replace you with one of these new fancy diamond fairies. Let's do that. And that takes your rate, rate up a little bit. You can carry more people. But that's good. You should start making more money now, I think. That would be my guess. Plane lines. Three of them are making money, two of them are losing. This is kind of a wrap-up of the series, just to see where we are. Uh, so yeah. The two Concord lines are making money, and the Prague to Lisbon line is making money. London to Prague and Lisbon to London are not making money. Shipping lines. Oh, it's only one that's losing money now, and that's the plastic to London. It will start making money, I am fairly certain. Because we now have more crude coming in via this line, which is making a little bit of money as well. So it should be okay. Train lines wise, uh, Barcelona tools to Bordeaux should be making money most of the time. Iberian cargo distribution is kind of on and off as well. Um, so is the Germany Latvia Express and I guess the Poland Turkey Express. Uh, the big loser is Bricks to Lyon, but that's also because we we have not uh, really start, started delivering that much fuel to, uh, to Paris yet. Tram lines, a lot of them are losing money, more than are making money. But that's to be expected with the tram lines. For the truck lines, by far more are making money and making a lot of money than are losing money. For the road vehicle lines. And what is losing money is basically mostly um, buses. There are also some deliveries that are losing money, but all in all, I think we are making quite a lot of money on our road vehicles. 
Yeah. And I don't suppose we can. Can we count them like this? No. So, what? 30 lines losing money or something? And if we turn it around. Wow, 22 million. That's a lot of money. Uh, we have a lot more than 30 lines losing money or making money. Uh, and the lines that are making money are generally making a lot more money than the lines that are losing money. Well, they're making more money than on the line than the lines that are losing money are losing. I suppose that's how we should put it. So let's see, the biggest loser is 7 million line. So we have what, 10 lines, 20 lines, 10, 15 lines that are making more money than our biggest loser is losing. So yeah, I'd say that we have a successful uh, transport uh, company. We are making, so a lot of investments, right? But making around 170, 180 million a year, which I'm pretty happy with. And yeah, I am quite okay with this. I think I'll let the game run for a little bit and uh, then we'll come back and see in six years or so uh, how it's doing because then we're in 2020 and we'll see if our lines are making or losing money at that time because then we've also made it up to the end year that i uh, set out for for the series so let's give it a bit of time and i'll be back Okay, guys, we are almost in 2020, um, and a few things have happened. Uh, I've set up a couple of lines. Um, I've Well, yeah, a couple of lines. I've set up a line doing wood from there to the sawmill here, going down here to deliver to the tools, then pick up wood back here deliver that back over to the sawmill and then go up and pick up more wood and deliver to the sawmill and so on and so forth and then i have of course set up a line delivering tools from here down to here and effectively uh, to uh, our uh, uh, bricks to leon train uh, so our bricks to Leon train is actually not a bricks to Leon train anymore. Uh, it's right here, actually. Uh, so it has a bit of uh, tools on board. It has some food on board. And up here in Brussels, it'll be picking up uh, fuel, construction materials and goods. And uh, yeah, new stuff. But we are oh, we are in 2020 now. And if we look at the lines now, if we just look at train lines, so the Poland Turkey Express is mostly making money. I, I, look how full it is. It, it it's making money. So is in reality the Barcelona Tools to Bordeaux Express. But the, the line that we were basically fixing before was this one, which is now doing, it, it was losing 8 million. Now it's making 2 million, which is not bad, which is not bad. And if we take a look at all our lines, well, our plane lines, yeah, a couple of them are not doing well, but those are actually the only two lines that are losing money in the millions. 
other than that, it's tiny little figures that are being lost. So I'm very happy with that. And our most profitable line is the Barcelona Prague Express, doing almost 24 million, which is insane. 24 million? That is a lot of dough. That is a lot of dough. And you can see here now, all of our train lines are in the green. Well, blue. This is blue to me. I don't. Is it green to you? It's blue to me. Uh, but yeah, all of them are in the green. Well, not right now, but they were and they will be again. Uh, so they are effectively all making money. For our shipping lines, they are basically all making money. There's one that's losing a little bit, but most of the time it actually does make money. Uh, we can take a look at it. Uh, finances. Uh, ah, it, it's been losing money for a little bit, but it is making money right now. And it should make money in the long run because it could be getting full ships. So that's nice. Our plane lines, yeah, not great. Uh, actually, right now, three of them are losing money. But planes in this game are just not a very good biz business uh, in general. So that is what it is. Trams, most of them are making money. Well, not anymore. Now most of them are losing money, but they are not really designed to make money. They're designed to make other lines make money. So yeah, but it's a little bit and they're doing fine. They are doing fine. Road vehicles, uh, we have a lot of road vehicle lines. Our most profitable one is the new one, the Riga Crude to Oil. Uh, the line up here in this corner. This is the most profitable uh, line that we have by a mile. Uh, it's double our French tool production, which is also a new line, which is the second most profitable one. So that that's pretty surprising, actually. That's pretty surprising, but they are very, very profitable. And if we look at lines that are losing money, it's just these few. So you can see more than half of the lines on the screen right now are, are in the green. And we can scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And we have so many profitable lines. We are making a ton of cash. It's wonderful. If we take a look at our account, we have almost 7 billion in the bank. Well, six and three quarters of a billion in the bank. We are making more than 200 million uh, a fiscal thing. Uh, I think it looks weird because I, I, I uh, reduced the time, but it's yeah, we, we're, we're making, making a lot, a lot of money. Over 200 million uh, a fiscal thing. And I am very happy with that. If we look at our towns, Berlin is our biggest town. Uh, Paris is number two. Amsterdam and Rotterdam, number three. Then London, Madrid, Frankfurt, Prague, Brussels, Milan, Barcelona and so on and so forth and most of our towns actually have well about half our towns have more than a thousand population right now so that is nice that is very very nice and if we turn off all this stuff we'll see how beautiful our maps looks look at that look at all these big towns so this is berlin Look at that. That is a huge town. I love it. Over here. Hamburg. It's a pretty big town too. Pretty big town. Amsterdam and Rotterdam. And Brussels here. So I really like this that these two have basically grown together. They're, they're one town. They're one town. Awesome. Really, really awesome looks so cool and we have London 
I do love the towns in this game. They're, they're just beautiful. They are beautiful. Look at all our ships going along. Oh, I do love this game. I really, really do. And that is why we are starting a new playthrough tomorrow. Because this, as mentioned, was the series finale. So, yeah, we are done for this time around. But not to worry. We are starting tomorrow on the spring update with a lot of really, really cool new features that I can't wait to jump into and, and show you that it, it's going to be cool. It's going to be really, really cool. So I hope you will show up for those and, and join me in a new series of uh, Transfer Fever 2 with a game-changing update. Uh, so yeah, I hope to see you tomorrow. And uh, thank you so much for uh, following the series, for watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you, you have no idea how much it means to me that, that you guys are uh, basically watching me play games. And uh, uh, those of you who do comment and, and, uh, and so on, I really, really do appreciate that as well. Your comments really do mean a lot. And, and uh, I'd love more comments. I'd love more comments. Uh, I read all my comments and I reply to by far the most of them. So... If you are watching and and you have an idea and you're thinking, oh, that might be a good idea, but you're not really sure, then put it in the comments and we can talk about it because I miss a lot of stuff and, and you guys catch a lot of stuff. So don't be shy. Put in, put in a comment or two and, and let me know what you think. Give me your suggestions. All that good stuff i really do appreciate it so uh, so yeah uh thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time